speaking of the IL, breaking news here out of Arlington, Texas, with the Texas Rangers, Jacob DeGrom, we talked about so much earlier in the show, will undergo Tommy John surgery to repair a tear in his UCL story forthcoming. Wow. Xavier Scruggs, your initial reaction. Man, this is, it's a blow, honestly. Um, you know, we talk about, it, it, we were just talking about the type of ace Jacob DeGrom is, right, when he's healthy. And obviously, the, the Texas Rangers, the type of trajectory that they're on right now, they're looking at postseason picture. They're looking at maybe a deep postseason type of run. And to not have Jacob DeGrom, it's ultimately going to be tough. Um, obviously, this is a team that's done great without him. But anytime you lose a, a guy of caliber of Jacob deGrom, you're talking about a completely different picture of your season than it originally looked. And I think that's going to be the most troubling thing for the Rangers. And now you look to see what do they do during the deadline um, to help bolster this rotation and see if they can be able to get as complete as they were when the season first started. I wonder what the former Mets GM Sandy Alderson's thinking right now. Just back in 2021, Alderson mentioned how he was concerned for Jacob deGrom and potentially having some kind of ligament tear in his arm. deGrom got irritated, said it was going to hurt his value when he became a free agent the following season. deGrom was mad at Alderson for bringing up the arm injury. Now here we are a couple of years later, Tommy John for the ace. It's just, it's a bad break, of course, for the Rangers. Just leaves you questioning how much DeGrom was really pushing that arm the last two years. I mean, you're, you're right on that. I mean, you, you, it's, 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 it's a tough blow. It's a tough blow, to say the least, um, for, for the Rangers. Um, but, like, some of the managers, the really good managers I, I play with, you, you're playing with more than just your 26-man roster. And you have to have some guys step up at some point. Um, and, and, and they're not always going to be your top guy. So you're going to have to have find, whether it's in, within or without, find some guys to you know, pick up the slack. Yeah, this will be the Aces' second Tommy John surgery of his professional career. He had one back in 2010 when he was in the minors, and obviously he's just in the first year of that five-year, $185 million deal. Oh, LG. X. Uh, no, that's no, how I was going to talk. I was going to talk to you first. No, I was going to say you just think about, you know, ultimately this puts pressure on the rest of the guys in this rotation, right? It, it may not affect – uh, DeGrom as much as it may affect a guy like Nathan Evaldi and how special yep. he's been throughout the course of this season, right? And it just, uh, it, it gives less room for error, right? And, and you think about if you have DeGrom back, you have some more depth that they don't have as much depth now and they don't even have the hopeful idea of having him back. So it's just a tough situation, makes everybody else like Rajay step up and really play to the best of their abilities, which I think the Rangers still will. Well, yeah, I guess that was my question, is that the Rangers are very lucky that, number one, uh, they're leading a very tough division, all without DeGrom for the most part. He was 6-6 six and six on the season, obviously great ERA, and uh, that was just 30 and a third innings, though. And then they're on this side of the trade deadline. So we basically have 90 seconds. You can all say your piece. How does this affect the Rangers, and what are they going to do at the deadline or before? It affects the Rangers because right behind them, the Houston Astros are licking their chops saying, <laughs> ooh, who are we going to go get at the trade deadline to stop the Rangers from getting in front of us in the division or staying there? The, the Rangers, to me, it, this is a huge blow to their morals. And like we've mentioned many times on this show, it's going to be a way thinner uh, trade deadline for pitchers. Not many people are going to be willing to deal as many pitchers because of um, expanded the extended postseason. Right? postseason. Yeah. No, I agree. They, they, you know, they may have to try to find that one, one or two arms that's going to help bring them through, especially for that um, that bullpen. Yeah, that's it's going to be really tough. I don't know, X. Do you have your eye anybody, on anyone, and you go earlier than later? I mean, August second is that far away? I mean, if you could go get, if you could go get a Lance Lynn or a Giolito, somebody from the White Sox, but. I look at if there's anybody that's fit for handling this type of situation, Bruce Bochy, Mike Maddox, guys that have been there long before we even started talking about baseball, they understand what it takes to get to a um, to the postseason still like this. 